coming up on Rock and Roll Delivery. What is that? Huh? What is that? That thing looks like a beast, but apparently it's good to eat. This has got to be the largest drink order I have ever picked up. How are you doing today? I've got some beautiful smoothies for you. Guess who tip aided me? Hey guys, we're currently on a $10.48 run to El Pollo Loco. It's going just 4.7 miles, so come on, let's go knock this out. Alrighty guys, we have arrived to El Pollo Loco. Hey, by the way guys, did you hear about the Mexican train robber? He was found to have uh, locomotives. Oh, there you are. How are you doing there? Hey, I have a uh, Uber Eats for Corey. I'm still working on it. Here. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. You have a beautiful rest of the day, okay? Same. Take care. Okay, got that. Corey. Okay, guys, let's go rock this out. Okay, guys, we've arrived. It's a business. Customer left some notes that it's a secured building, so knock on the door or call or something to get their attention, but we're gonna get this knocked out. Let's go. Okay, Corey. How's it going, dude? You enjoy, okay? Have a beautiful rest of the day. You as well. There goes my customer. Okay, great. That's Corey. You guys, we're on a $10.65 run here to Wee Key, Wee King Noodle, something like that. Uh, Wing Key. It's, it's Faux Thang. It's that restaurant that we go to often that has all these different names that they operate under. But yeah, it's 4.8 miles total, and we're going to go and rock this out. You guys are coming along, so let's go. Okay, so check it out. Faux thing. Not Wee King or Week King or King Week, Wing King, or whatever the hell it was. Hello. Hello, how you doing? I'm good. You nice. right? What is that? Huh? What is that? Black uh, breakfast. Breakfast? Jackfruit. Uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit? jackfruit? Jeff. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a very ugly watermelon, but no. But the inside really is good. It's good, right? Yeah. Okay. But ugly outside. Really <laughs> kind of like me. Okay, thank you. That's my guy. Let me some fun, please. Of course. I always do. Thank I you. appreciate it. You have a beautiful day, okay? Take care. Have a great day. Take care. Okay. Jackfruit. I think I've heard of that. That thing looks like a beast, but apparently it's good to eat. Let's go, guys. Well, I think this is one of our repeat customers. There you go. Let's find this customer and get this done. Okay, I can actually see my customer out here waiting for his order. So yeah, just hang with me, guys. Hello, Patrick. You're fine. How are you doing today, good? Good, good. good. You have a beautiful rest of the day, you okay? Too. Take care. Okay, there comes my guy. All righty. Well, we're on a $9.27 run to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's going just three miles. So, yeah, it's a good offer. It's a fair offer. We're going to go knock it out. Let's go. Okay, guys, we've arrived. You know, I've done the drive through here before, and I think we're going to try it again today. So, let's do that. So, we're just going to cruise into the drive through here and get our order. Let's go. Hey, thank you so much. You have a beautiful day, okay? Take care. Oh, uh, Oh, okay, great. It's just a straw. I got you. Very fancy. You take care, bro. You too. Excellent. This order is going to Kindred, which is a hospital. Uh, what do they say it is exactly? It is a, a care facility. And I always like uh, delivering to folks who do that type of work because they work real hard. And they deserve a break and they deserve a tropical smoothie. Let's go. Are you Deborah? Yes. Hi. How are you doing today? I got some beautiful smoothies for you. Thank you very much. All right. You take care and have a beautiful rest of the day, okay? You too. Bye bye. Aw, what a nice lady. Okay, well, we're on a $10.31 run to McDonald's. It's going just a total of 3.8 miles, I believe it was. 
Let's go rock this out, guys. Come on, you're coming along. Alrighty, guys. Well, we have arrived to Mickey D's. I'm gonna take the very first spot, and we're gonna go rock this out. Let's go. Hello, how are you doing today? Hello, good to you. Fine, thanks for asking. I have CD6. Yeah. Uber Eats. Are you Thank you. Let's get digital, digital. Perfect. All right, you have a beautiful day. Okay, it was sitting right there for me. <laughs> Oops, I'm not used to that. Normally you have to ask for it, but they actually had it on the shelf like the way it's supposed to work. Nice job, McDonald's. We have arrived to our customer. Guys, we're on a $6.50, just a one mile McDonald's run. So yeah, we're gonna knock this one out and then hopefully we'll get something on a higher dollar scale after this. But yeah, we're trying to stay active. So yeah, we're doing a $6.50 one mile, pretty close. Let's go. Hey, I have E67. Thank you. Okay, guys, we've arrived at the customer. He's got in big, bold letters, do not bring the doorbell, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. So we're not gonna ring the doorbell. Guys, well, we're on a run right now to T. Maison. It's six miles total for $11.40, 43 cents, I believe it was. And yeah, we actually accepted an add-on. It's just going one extra mile. So once we get down to the drop-off point, there's a 7-Eleven down there and somebody wants a few items from 7-Eleven and they live like right around the corner from 7-Eleven. So we figured, you know what, let's add to our total here throw in another little delivery and uh, you know we'll be making a little more scratch so on our way to T. Maison right now let's go okay guys we've entered the T. Maison complex here <laughs> the mini mall that it's in the place is always packed which is cool it's all good but yeah it's always packed oh beautiful we got this parking right here I mean parking is really scant over here in the center and they've got this little 10 minute curbside pickup parking which I always park in let's go Tea, Hello, I have an Uber Eats for Peter. Thirteen? Wow. That's pretty big. That should be the largest one I've picked up in a while. This might be a two trip. Holy cow. Look at all these drinks. Oh my god. Gosh, this has got to be the largest drink order I have ever picked up. And guess what? It's going to a hospital. So we're going to go get some doctors or nurses or maybe a combination thereof, a bunch of teas. Let's go, guys. Okay, guys. Well, quick update. I did cancel that 7-Eleven order. I was just like, I, I, I can't fit any more stuff on my front seat. But I was just thinking about it. For some reason, I just got weirded out about it. And I was just like, oh, wow. And I canceled it. So, you know, they'll get their 7-Eleven somehow, some way from some other driver. But it's not going to be me, not today anyway. So we're going to just focus on this order to the hospital. Got lots of drinks, 13 drinks to get to the hospital. VIPs, let's go. Look at all these drinks. Take it all in. Look at it. There's a lot of drinks. I was just checking out the receipt on this order. That's $98 in tea. That's a, that's a healthy, healthy, healthy order there of tea. Okay. Guys, we've entered the grounds of the Valley Hospital Medical Center. This is actually going to the ICU, but uh, the owner of all these teas, or at least the administrator of these teas, texted me and said he's on his way down. So, yeah, that's a good thing. 
Got some thirsty doctors and nurses, I think. What does he say to bring it? <laughs> uh, Peter's, Peter said he texts me he's on his way down. That's my customer, yeah. That, that with all this uh, construction, I couldn't figure out how to get in here. I, I turned around that way, I went around that way. I was uh, playing musical chairs with my car. I don't like to do that. <laughs> so I'll just wait for him and then I'll be out of your way, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. Oh. Hello. Tara? Hi. Ta da! <laughs> this looks good. You guys are hard working, so you deserve it. Thank you for all your great work. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, we got that delivered. The nice nurses came and picked it up. And it could have been doctors. Who knows? I don't know. But yeah, we got that done. Okay, guys, well, next stop is a $10.08 offer going just 3.8 miles to Carl's Jr. On our way, getting close, let's go. Okay, guys, we've arrived at Carl's Jr. I could attempt to go through that drive through It's kind of tempting, but I'm just gonna go inside because we're gonna get a look around. We wanna look around, see how much different this is from all the other Carl's Juniors. I doubt it very much, but let's go. Okay, I'll get that. How's it going? Nice to see you. Hey, I have a Uber Eats for Dante. Dante. Uber Eats. Thank you. A little baby cup. I'll take it. Thank you so much. I'll confirm it. Yes. You're very welcome. You have a beautiful day, okay? Lots of stuff. Lots of good stuff. Alrighty, guys. Well, we have arrived to our customer. Let's go and drop this off. What do you say? I say yes. Hopefully, it's going to be right here. But seldom the case for some reason. Hmm. Nope. Just like I thought. <laughs> like I said, hopefully, it's here. And it is. Okay, guys, well, I'm over here staked out at McDonald's waiting for another offer, but you guys are never going to believe this. Guess who tip aided me? Do you remember earlier in this video that tropical smoothie delivery that went to that lady in the wheelchair? How are you doing today? I got some beautiful smoothies for you. Thank you very much. All right, you take care and have a beautiful rest of the day, okay? You too. Bye bye. She tip aided me, either that or she didn't like my service and she took off the entire tip. So it was like an almost $10 tip ended up being two bucks. So I was like, what's up with that? You guys saw what I shot. I provided excellent service. I went straight to smoothie, went straight to her. I mean, it was like, boom, boom. She got them cold. I mean, it was fresh, you know, whatever. I have no idea what happened with her. They looked on my account when I called Uber they looked on my account and they said she didn't file a complaint. So she didn't complain. She just took off the tip. So I just found that very weird. So like I said, I did call Uber. Get this now. Drivers, pay attention. I said, put me on with a supervisor. I told the supervisor, look at my record. I have 100% satisfaction with my customers. I said, this is unfair. I have no idea what happened with that order, but it, it was a perfect delivery. Guess what? They gave me $20. So that really surprised me. I mean, the order was only $9.80 or whatever it was. It wasn't even 10 bucks. They ended up giving me $20. So like I said, drivers take note. When you have a grievance or you think you're unfairly de-tipped, if that's a word, then call support and ask to talk to a supervisor. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of convincing, but they're there to help you, the driver. Customers come and go, but they need us drivers. They really need us drivers to perform this service in order to keep their business going. Of course, they need customers, but we are the nuts and bolts of this operation. Let's face it, and sometimes literally driving our asses off to get these orders to people. We are on a $9.45 offer to Teriyaki Madness. It's just going over four miles. And then we got an add-on for $9.50, and it's going to Panda Express, which is just right around the corner. So yeah, we're knocking out two. They're both on the way back to the zone. I'm happy, you're happy, I hope. If you're happy, leave a comment, hit the like, subscribe. Appreciate it, guys, let's go.
Teriyaki Madness! <laughs> Uber Eats for Mitzi. Mitzi. Okay. And this they're here, the drinks. Raspberry tea and, and a Pepsi. And a Pepsi, thank you, dear. Okay, got that. Sweet. It's one down. Panda Express to go. Okay, guys. Well, like I was saying, Panda Express is just right across the way here. You can see it right there. Panda Express. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Yeah, I have Sterling for Uber Eats. Can I see? Yeah. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful night, okay? Take care, girls. Okay, got that. Nice. Okay, guys, just pulling out of this parking lot. As I was getting out to my car, the uh, lady in there, she ran out with, uh, I guess she forgot to put in the waters or their drinks or whatever. <laughs> Lash me. 20 lashes. I guess it could be the lashes that you, that girls put on their eyes, right? False eyelashes? Lash me. Guys, we've arrived to our customer's crib. It's one of these multi-unit complexes, and I don't know, I think we've been here before, actually. Okay, I'm looking for 13, but I'm guessing it's this one. That's 14. This has got to be 13. Oh, maybe. Oh, let's find out. Sterling? Uh, yeah. This is 13? Yes. Okay, because... Yeah, it came. <laughs> Someone karate chopped it. You have a beautiful evening, man. Take care, my bro. <laughs> All right. Everything... Oh, we got the copper chopper over here. I guess the number fell off that guy's door. But that's one of those little things that happens in this business where you got to just kind of use your head. And it's like, okay, 13, 14, that's got to be it. Okay, guys, we're here. This is like a mobile home park or manufactured home villa. Or I think they call it uh, Las Vegas mansions. Maybe not. Guys, we're on a $10.41 run going 3.5 miles. The restaurant is Wings, Wings, Wings. So three guesses what they specialize in. Yeah, so I was looking for Wings, Wings, Wings. All I see is Verdi Pizza. Then I read the instructions that the restaurant leaves and they are Wings, Wings, Wings. So Verdi Pizza is also Wings, Wings, Wings. Just in case you needed to know that. So they also specialize in pizza, obviously. All right, hello. Thank you. Beautiful dude. Thanks for knocking that out. I appreciate it. No you, have a farm for me? you got it. Okay, got that. Not much of a wait, just about two or three minutes. No, no, no big. I don't know if you guys caught that, but as I was coming out of there, I was carrying the bag as I normally do, but then whatever the way I was carrying the bag, it made the staples go pop, pop, pop and split and it kind of opened the bag. So I was like, you know, the customers hate that because they think you went in the bag or something and I don't play that way. So I went back in there and I said, dude, could you lock this thing down again for me? So he did, he put a whole bunch of staples in it. So. Okay, guys, we've arrived. Not sure if the customer's instructions say look for a large burned out school bus. Oh, but that's exactly, oh, the A news bus. Um, yeah, okay. The thing is like a blockade. It's just going across the entire driveway and I had to walk through a bunch of bushes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's crazy. Okay, let's get going quickly. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey guys, are we having fun yet? Okay, great, I'm glad to hear that. Do me a flavor, good flavor, and click on this video right here. Right, boy, boy. Right, I'm going right. Not as much here or here or there, right here. Put your on that video right there. I really appreciate it.